Um, uh, Coloma, Coloma High School. Coloma High School in Rancho Cordova. This is the back field. Wow, it's watered too. Oh yeah. This is very nice and Diane, it's definitely big enough for an oval, yeah? Oh yeah, oh god, yeah. Look at this. Just to document it. Just stuff. Yeah. This is the field at Theodore Judah School in Folsom. And it's uh it's not looking good. There's not much in the way of shade. And it's definitely browning. This is the back of the field in Folsom where the oval would go. And there's, I'd say, a good third of the field is absolutely dead. This part that looks green is really pretty dry. And parking for the oval would have to be out on the street there. A little farther into the field where you would have a lure course or an oval, I think you can see the progressive <laughs> deadness. just go all the way around and let you see what the ground actually looks like. It's looking back down where the straight would be. This is a soccer field in the city of Roseville. Good sized field and it's green, but it does have lamp posts. And of course soccer goals. And a little bit of livestock. I presume they are not permanent. It's a big field. It's in pretty good shape. But there are some obstructions on the field. You can't, you can't move those out. Uh, this is uh, Solano College on the same day as the other fields we looked at. It has some dry spots, but it looks like they are watering. There's dry spots in the down toward the end. A little on the sides. I think it's usable. It hasn't been mowed in a while. It's fairly long grass. You see as we get further out, there is a big dry patch. 
but I'd say 90% of it is green. I'm just walking down the center of the strip where we have the uh, sprint meets. And this is the patch that's kind of dry. It's not all that big. But you can see it's it's pretty dry in the spots where it's not gotten water. Overall, it's better than a lot of the ones we looked at.